Oh, look at this. Icon eye rail, vector comp wheels, <gasps> Draco CLB with Altegra componentry. This bike looks very familiar. Track it to 200. Oh, that's right. These are one of mine. Come back to have it tuned up. Well, let's review what needs to be tuned after maybe a season or so of riding. After this. Welcome to I Know A Guy Bicycles, hanging out with a guy. Hi, I'm Justin the Guy. Obviously, I have a garage shop. Take scary out of used, one bike at a time. If you want to be kept up to date on the latest projects and topics, please like and subscribe. Welcome back to I Know A Guy Bicycles, hanging out with a guy. Hey, I'm Justin the Guy on this whole bike series. This is one of the bikes I did refurbish. I found, I refurbished it, I fixed it, I sold it to a rider that's loving it. And now it's back for its annual tune-up. Huh, what's an annual tune-up? What does it entail? Well, there's a few things that most bike shops will either give with the sale of a bike that's new. Used bikes, you typically have to just take it to a bike shop to have it done. But once you get that initial tune-up, like I refurbished this one from the ground up, then how much of a lift is it after that just to keep it maintained? We'll review that. Let's check it out. Well, here we got it. Tune-up. And you'll walk your bike into a bike shop and get a person like me going to give you an estimate. What the estimate's going to tell is which shop you take it to. If you take it to a, a chain location, they have a laundry list of things and they're going to try to upsell you a lot of things. If you take it to a, a locally owned bike shop, yeah, they're going to try to you know check out the, sh the bike itself, look at different parts and componentry and give you a little more of an honest opinion of what needs to be replaced, what not to be replaced, and get more life out of. And then you got a guy like me or people that work their service out of the van, and they're gonna be a little more warm and hug because they're there, they're working on it, and they're gonna spend some time. And they're gonna be honest to the point like, well, you can probably get some more miles out of this chain. This tire is getting pretty bald, so this, let's fix that so you don't have any issues. But kind of dress the things where you're gonna be upfront knowledge but you're not going to feel like you're going to be nickel and dime for every little thing. They're going to up pump up the price of the bike. That being said, this particular bike, I've worked on it before. I refurbished it. I did a tune on it, a tune on it basically when I had it. So it's pretty much had its one initial good solid tune. And after that, it's kind of a good lower level tune to keep it going in, in form because some bikes, when they get used for a long time and they go down that road and never be worked on, well, then you have a situation where it needs a complete overhaul. This has been kind of overhauled through the process of my refurbishing. So in this case, the tune-up, they just need the lower standard level tune, but I'm gonna throw in a couple of extras since it's a repeat customer. Uh, clean the drivetrain with ultrasonic cleaner, the chain cassette is going to go get in the tank, possibly the crank set too. I'm going to do a little bit of detailing and get a ceramic coating to the frame and fork while I have it stripped apart and address that in a tube and tire. And I won't charge them extra labor for the tube and tire, just for the tire and, and the tube. I might just throw the tube in and double check everything else in the process. If I come across anything big, of course, I will going to contact him and give him a very honest price and explanation why I missed it. Um, and we're all human. So service riders or mechanics, you know, it, sometimes we don't find that thing until we're in the weeds. Well, this particular bikes, I'm going to feature, you know, kind of cleaning up the frame and also I'm going to actually focus on cleaning the drivetrain, which I'll feature in this video. So starting on the derailleurs, I'm going to knock that down to the small. And when you do any tune-up, obviously the first thing is to take off the wheels. So I'm going to pop the skewer, drop that wheel out, and then I'll remove this cassette here. And to remove the cassette, I need to pop that skewer off like so. And once that skewer is out of the way, I'll just go ahead and throw this in the cleaner as well. And take the cassette off, use a chain, what they call a chain whip. That holds the cassette in place while you can get your lock ring tool in in there. Uh, once you use the ground to leverage to release that lock ring, then it basically comes all apart like so. And if I'm lucky, the chain will have a power link. Then you can take the power link, pop that off, 
take a little bracket out. Boop. Or it drops on the floor. And that is a pretty gunky mess. So we want to get all that cleaned off. Since that was such a gunky mess, I am going to go ahead and take the derailleurs and put them in the ultrasonic cleaner as well to get that gunk off. That also gives me an opportunity to get into the frame here and do some good cleaning as well. Try to take those off without fraying any cables and then pull that out, set that aside. Yeah, that is pretty dirty. So we're going to get that all cleaned up. And release the trailer into its lowest, less tension position. That way it's just not snapping at me. And then we take that front derailleur. And this is what they call a brazon, it has a mount that's directly to the frame. So you can give that a good cleaning as well. And lastly, I'm gonna pop this crank because the chain rings, like everything else, <clears throat> super dirty. And this has a self-extracting bolt. that you can leverage and it should pull itself off after a few turns here. Like so. So now we have a clean area that we can actually get to the frame and do some good cleaning, detailing, inspect those brakes, get the front wheel off, and spread the and up brakes up front as well. And got to surpass the lawyer tabs here. And there we go. On to cleaning the parts. Part of the eruption, there is more. More you say, push the more button. Push it, push it, I dare you to push it. Once you push that button, you get more details about the video you are watching in addition to all the tools that I use in the shop as well as suggestion for improving your ride. In addition to, to help me provide advocacy in the cycling community. Also links to other social media accounts as well as my website to find the products that I actually sell and other insights in the industry. Other videos linked below, extend your cycling experience here on YouTube. And now back to your original programming. After this. Okay, we got the ultrasonic cleaner going. Got the heating element. You can pre-treat these with a little bit of spray, but I found as a trick, what you could do is you can take an extra bag and we fill it up. Well, first what you wanna do, so you put your chain, and you only want to do concentrated with the chain and the cassette. So we'll get those bits in here. That way you can get a really good cleaning of it. So you got the front derailleur, rear derailleur, skewer, and the crank. All that's in there. Then the concentration. Put some simple green in here. And as I'm lowering this down into, I keep the pedal out as much as I can, like so. Then all that simple green in there, then I can zip lock this up and turn it on. On to the next. So here we have, ooh, clean drivetrain. Yeah, I just, Took these out of ultrasonic cleaner, rinsed them off under hot water, chew the wheels, do a little polishing, cleaning, 
Yeah, blue really pops with that ceramic coating. So I've been using ceramic slam from lithium, and now I'm going to do the frame. So looking at it right now, initial cleaning looks not too bad, but we'll see if we can get this frame to pop. So for those of you who have watched my videos, you definitely have noticed that I've gotten into detailing the frame as one of my things lately. And it's, you know, been in the industry for over 30 years, you kind of find new things you really kind of dig. This is one of them. So looking at what I have, I'm not going to do any buffing or any of that nature. I've already did that initial um, refurbishing. So what there is left now is just the clear coat. It still probably has a little bit of a polish that's left on it from the Adams treatment. Now I'm going to use a lithium uh, surface cleaner to pull up any of the little dirt bits and so forth within the actual paint itself and then apply a ceramic coating called ceramic slam from lithium which will actually give it a protective coating to shed water, UV protection and you can use it also on the rubber and plastic parts and the aluminum arms and pieces to kind of give it that additional protection. So let's dive into this. So all surface hyper clean. I did this on the rims and spokes and hubs and that seemed to do really well. So cleaning the frame off should be pretty good. I've done a couple of these so far with this and it seems to really pull up a lot of the extra gunk that initial cleaning doesn't. Um, well, you know, more times you go over it, eventually you're gonna pull more gunk off and this actually preps the surface for that ceramic coating and I'll do hit the brake cantilevers as well and dive into the Once I have that surface clean, then I'm ready to apply the ceramic slam. I do three layers. First, I do a layer, wait five minutes, do it again, wait five minutes, do it again. Reason being is each time you do that second or third layer, you build up the actual protection in addition to catching all those little areas that you may have missed. So doing it three different times gives it a good coating and that's gonna protect it really well. So I just put on my applicator and just apply it like so. And when it dries, it has like a, a light film. So I go over it with a fiber cloth to kind of wipe off that excess, which is a pretty common practice with all ceramic cleaners uh, or protection. So that does bring out the shine once it's um, buffed off for sure. I like to do an extra coating or really get underneath the frame itself because that's where all the back spray from the wheels really get up into the frame. So I really like to coat that. So once it's all coated really well, and if you do get it dirty, you rinse it off with water, it might actually get all that grime out a little bit easier than it didn't do the ceramic protection. So therefore, add a protection, gives it a good look, and it actually looks stellar. So looking at it right now, now I've dried a little bit. You can kind of take a close up here. You see a little bit of dullness to it, but once you start applying just a little bit of wipe off that film and voila, it's 
So you can see that high gloss just coming out of that frame. Almost looks like it's wet paint. That's how shiny it is. So going to keep on diving on this, finish the coats, put the parts on. But thanks for hanging out with me. This is a pretty cool little project of refurbishing this. Uh, once it's all ready to go, it'll be uh, pretty solid. Let's review.